Hello, hello everybody. This is Mr. MMW. Back with, with another video of my Japan series. Let's get right into it. Let's cover what happened in the last turn. So, overall, let's look for example at ship losses. Relatively light. Some unfortunate accidents. We sunk some... Uh, Tankers, very nice tankers. This is very tasty. Some good transport ships. And supposedly we have some extra info from uh, Pearl Harbor. Well, our boys over here in the uh, I-10 deserve a place. Commander Matsuo. He uh, certainly deserves praise. Apparently there's a different commander in charge. Interesting. Okay, so... Our carriers didn't engage, if I remember last turn correctly. Let's take a look at the operational report. <laughs> I kind of don't remember what happened, but... Uh, uh, Everything seems good, like this. Not much happened on the first turn. Chanting, ah, these are my aircraft. I relocated a bunch of them to the right bases in a couple of turns. Once we have cleared the road to Wuhan, we can uh, begin reinforcing them with actual air support. But, and not much in the second day two. Last turn we have captured Hong Kong and Cagayan. Initially I also hoped to capture uh, well Clark and Rabal, but unfortunately this will not happen. I'm gonna shock attack both here and at Clark. Uh, these guys might lose but Whatever the case, I'm gonna reinforce them. So be it, if we take extra losses over here, once again, I'm gonna shock attack. This is a bit of a bit weird that these guys have less supply than needed, considering that I am I have 145,000 supply. This is of course a bit interesting, but it should be enough in any case. I'm gonna shock attack because I really want to take it this turn and they have no fort, uh, fortifications and I'm also not bombarding them so they're gonna rebuild their fortifications so might as well take them out now let's hope so anyway overall in China uh, what happened yeah still moving the road to Kaifeng is open you can see I transported a bunch of stuff I'm gonna split them between uh, Hong Kong and Kaifeng I'm also trying to catch a lot of these units that are, that are running away and if you can see these guys are actually moving into here I kind of predicted this so let's see if it will uh, if we can defend same here and here they are going on the attack but unfortunately we just don't have the forces to actually kick them back we're just gonna have to defend. I'm gonna rest for another turn, but then, you know. Going to uh, bomb bombardment mode. Let's switch over to... Uh, here we go. To my com commander's report. So last turn, we have sent another fuel convoy to Truk. We have captured these guys and the 5th Army. Is in the Philippines now. This turn I'm, I sent a second supply convoy to Truk. The BBs are gonna bombard Ambon. I did not count how slow they were on the first turn. So there you go. Hopefully we capture these guys. And oh yeah, there's also the battle of Johor Baru. And I'm going to show you how uh, to do a little memeing into it not much else 
happening. I don't think so. Oh yeah, the the plan, but it's nah, nah, it's over here. The operational plan in China seems to be going according to the plan, but certain things that were over here, I, I don't even remember which ones I moved. Certain things that were in January, I I think I'm gonna accomplish in December, particularly central the Philippines and northern Malaya. I'm gonna intend to completely finish Malaya in December. Also, pretty much every single uh, Indonesian island or a Philippine island, I'm gonna try to conquer it. And I'm gonna try to move here, this one over here. I do not know if I will be successful, but it will certainly help with uh, the Indian invasion. I also made a little bit of more of a more detailed plan about invading Burma. I intend to send the Imperial Guards and a bunch of tank forces into Burma simply to capture it much earlier. Again we will see how this develops. It this may happen sooner. This is the goal. In any case I want to be in New Caledonia and in India by March, the latest. Yeah, I, as I said previously, in capturing Clark Field theoretically could be done the, as the soonest uh, last turn. Unfortunately, I did not get lucky with a good roll. I can switch over to the game now too. There we go. Unfortunately, I was not lucky. So hopefully this turn we will. This is turn, what turn is it? Turn 9, yes. We might may do it on turn 9 on turn 10. Now it's Singapore, we are on schedule. You can see. And if you look at the armor, these guys are in reserve mode and in pursuit mode. This is how you... <laughs> now, how do you call it? This, the crossing into Singapore, is referred to in-game as a shallow river, which does not work the same as a normal river. For example, crossing in, you could not do the same thing crossing into uh, Chungking or into Kianko or any other base here. So you really can't replicate this maneuver around anywhere else in the game as far as I know. But you can, if you have these guys, straight up move into Singapore at the same time as moving, as beating these guys. Yeah. Meaning that for next turn, we will indeed be into Singapore. Of course, we won't be able to attack instantly, but we will be able to start moving and we will not get a crossing shock attack. That's the intent, anyway. Our guys are a little slow getting into position, you can see. They still need to unload. These guys, again, still need to unload, but they're on their way. This is why I cannot use, also the airfield needs to expand. I simply cannot use all these aircraft. Over here, I'm gonna sweep Singapore for the first time, simply to get rid of some fighters. So that I can use these guys properly. Again, we still need to expand the port, the airfield, because uh, as it is, we can't use our bombers now. I'm gonna use just a single squad to do this for now, but soon enough, we will have everything in play. Yeah, I'm gonna. I'm gonna. I intend to take every single one of these bases which have. Relatively big Philippine forces, also over here, just to keep them busy. Yeah, just take out as much as I can. We, I think this is one of the last parts of the 16th army that are in Bubble Dog. I'm gonna move them to the again, and then we'll see from there. We have a little scouting expedition, just a patrol. 
for a little bit. Our Ryujo is moving again. And uh, these guys are taking forever to unload because our port is too big. There you go. And here are, are our battleships. Very good. A bunch of subs I can show you with the patrols. These are all the subs that are in the area. I'm gonna go really aggressive in the South Pacific this time. Because as we have seen, they are already bringing tankers and transport ships and everything really far forward. And we cannot let them unload. We absolutely cannot. Because once they got, have established, we cannot take them out anymore. The, I have covered that one personally. So we really, really need to blockade them as much as possible. Unfortunately, it takes a bit of time. You can also see I laid out some more ASW work. We will see if this helps. Oh yeah, I didn't check the air losses. Pretty damn good. 80, 81 to 6. Hmm. Oh yeah, a bunch of them. Yeah, yeah. These guys were captured on the ground. Think again. Not the best place to stop. If you wish to go to Australia. Allied players, please keep this in mind. I'm also capturing MIDI next turn. And I have... Even though it cost me PP. I replace the commander with a commander with decent admin, admin. So they captured this base and hopefully not damage the oil. I'm also gonna send these guys to Osthaven and they'll go on a capture Palembang. You do not need to overcommit on Palembang. You do not need two divisions to capture Palembang. A single regiment is enough. Overcommitting is not using your forces properly. And if you're fine with capturing Java by May, then fine, you can do this. But uh, personally, I like to be efficient and I like to distribute my forces where they, they are needed and not overcommit. There you go. What else? Yeah, we still need some troops and some shipping pretty much everywhere. These guys are gonna sit here one more turn to repair. Oh yeah, and I have expanded a bunch of ships, both here and in uh, Nagasaki. You can see. Because uh, we don't have any troops incoming immediately. So, might as well do it now. Here are all my tankers and stuff. Yeah. I have sent... Also, these guys, they're done resizing they're gonna go back to japan where even is the suiho i didn't i don't even know soon enough the mini kidobutai will be on the spot oh here you go hmm. i wonder if i can hmm. you know what i'm gonna do this right now there you go I'm gonna actually use the Zuiho. Ah, fine, you can just escort. There you go. And I'm gonna merge them with this guy, with our Yujo. So if we encounter anything, which we may, we will be able to deal with them. Pretty much everything else is done. I forget if I have to mention anything else. But if I can't remember, then it's probably not important. So it goes. Maybe... Oh yeah, some support. Again, due to the ex expedited uh, advancement into the South Pacific, I, I have decided to send more ASs, A AVs, more escorts to Truk. We will see if this is enough. Oh yeah, and uh, this guy, they're gonna go to Milt Bay and just stay there. They're gonna protect these bases. I also want to eventually 
send out one another cruiser task force to do the same for Port Moresby. I want you to straight up block these guys because subs are not enough. If you want to completely blockade the port, you either need torpedo bombers in our ball, which are on the way but they're not here right now, or straight up ship. Eh, that's enough. Let's turn the turn. Allow me to also drink some coffee. We captured YOLO. I did not actually expect... Hmm. I thought there were troops there. Hmm. Interesting. Oh well, those guys can go to another place. You can also see a bunch of troop movements in China. These guys are a little tougher than I remembered, so hmm. we'll see how it goes. I'm gonna try to do a little encirclement around Loyang. We'll see how well this works. Okay, you can skip this. Anything happening at night? <laughs> I also gave the battleships a bit of a weird routing, if you noticed it. Hmm. That is because I want them to bombard in the daytime. And here we go, right outside of San Francisco. We, call, we need a big troop transport. The I-7, Lance Torpedo and a shell. And it supposedly sinks. Oh no, don't you dare. <laughs> These guys... I, th I think they're the guys who are going to Turk. <laughs> Unfortunate. We do have plenty of escorts. Actually, no. Yeah, I think they are actually from returning from Turk. Yeah. Just, I always put the same class together. A little fishing boat over here. Oh, hello there. These are my battleships. And generally, I do like using all of my battleships together. Unfortunately, a bunch of them are simply not fast enough to do any, you know, kind of naval combat intercepting action. Only the Congos are really good for that. So I usually use them in order to bombard coastal guns. Which again, I do see as one of the biggest threats the enemy has. Coastal guns are really dangerous. Oh, okay, some more uh, guys sending in our way. Interesting. Hmm, at Palmyra now. We do see an AK. This also, by putting these guys in each unit, right, in each island, we can see when they are uh, replenishing them. Mm. And uh, I-10 once again, scoring some good hits in the base of Numea. Two torpedoes, very nice. Ah yeah, and uh, these guys who are patrolling are now returning to base. On the way I decided to bombard this base, because it has clear terrain. And it helps our troops, you can see, much more damage. If in clear terrain, same with normal bomb bombar bombardment. Yeah. Oh, here's an American sub, don't you dare. Mm. Right outside. Hello? Mm. 
Mark 14 moment. That's a Mark 14 moment if I ever saw one. <laughs> Another one. Uh, this guy is... Another one. Hey, he's dedicated. <laughs> Another one. Uh, now I feel bad for this guy. Oh, unfortunate. Man unloaded everything. <laughs> <laughs> now he's just annoyed. He just wants to use his deck, deck gun. Mm. And he's there now. <laughs> Eight shell hits. What a meme. Oh, and here's us. They have a destroyer here. You can see they really are bringing a lot of forces to Port Morsby. This is why I have my own on the way. Here's our uh, Oscars, the 1A variant. Quite a lot of buffaloes, I'm gonna skip through it. These aren't great for fighting, but I don't have any better right now. 3 to 1. Not nice. Oh, but here, here comes the... Tateo Kato. If you don't know him, look it, look him up. I put uh, him in charge of his historical unit. The 64th squad. They did good work in reality. Getting over 300 uh, wins. Aerial battles. Hopefully, we will do the same. And of course, the 61st squad, 64th, achieves my much better results. 1 to 5. And here are my zeros, here. Apparently, there really were, was a uh, uh, surface combat task force over here. Let's see what uh, they can do. Hmm. So what do we have here? Destroyer. Interesting. Naturally, we don't hit anything because uh, we are Japanese. Okay, you can just oh, amazing. You know how some uh, Allied players cry when they uh, their three bombers don't hit anything. Well, I just had thirty bombers miss. Everything. So there you go. These guys are not gonna be stop. Hmm. Apparently, a bunch of arcades did not manage to hit. Unfortunate. Here are some Hudsons. Getting some AA damage. Soon enough, don't you worry. There are some Dutch guys from B Balik Papan. These guys are from Ambon. They are very annoying, but they will be sorted out very soon by these battleships. Hello? I thought I had zeros. Ah, I guess they were just escorting. Mm. Two bombs. Not nice. Build a beast bombing empty bases. And here's some stuff from Rangoon. Hmm, interesting. Unfortunately, I can't do anything about them right now. Only after Malaya. Will I free up the 25th army? They'll go over there. 
These guys are so annoying. God, I really want to wipe out every single swordfish from this map. Come on, second, second chance. Oh, much better. One buffalo dead. And one torpedo into the, into the dragon. Or dragoon, I don't know. Here they come again, the Dutch. But they are Dutch. And they ain't much. These guys try also. But fail. <sighs> At least this was a tiny ship. The luck on these guys, it's incredible. Oh, here, here comes our uh, brave Aiten again to get revenge. Very nice, very nice. And an AG at Palmyra. Very good to hit it. I-18, I think this guy is a type C submarine. So he doesn't have a plane. But they do have an extra rack of torpedoes, which is very nice. The C type uh, submarines you should always use for off very risky offensive operations. Because they are like stealthier, generally. And they have more torpedoes. Hmm. A little bit of damage. Here's some movement. Oh yeah, we suffered a little bit of uh, base damage due to lack of garrisons. Hopefully this will be fixed. Let's go ping, we do a deliberate attack. And we of course win. Over here we do a little bit more of an attack. Mm, nice results, but they retreat in exactly the wrong direction. Okay. And over here, a division on a core. And of course we win. Again, nice damage. This is rough terrain, but this is a new Chinese core. So these guys are a little stronger. Not strong enough, clearly. Very good. Take those out. And these guys are a little annoying. This is not a good result. Hmm. And these guys sneaked around past us. Unfortunately, I need to back up with these guys. Mm -hmm. And here's our shark attack. Pray. Pray for our boys in the blue. Or not. Or maybe, I don't know, the khaki. I don't know. You can see one, two, and three divisions. Yeah, here we go, boys. We'll do it. Oh yeah, we we are doing some good damage. Uh, yes. Thank you very much. Oh, some of them even uh, surrender. No Tokyo Rose? I guess not. So, we, ha we have captured Clark Field on December 15th. Very nice. You can also see the disparity between our forces. 1700 just a little bit of a boost and these guys got a little boost too the casualties may look like ab about equal but they suffered a lot more destroyed especially vehicles and guns and everything we 
we unfortunately the, uh, our en engineers got quite beat up but not not much else so we are gonna we'll see what we'll do depends on how battered we are but uh, don't be fooled because Batan is still quite a formidable fortress in itself I did not win Luzon just because I captured Clark Field. This is just the first step. This is the real battle. And we capture Patanges. You see, even though we had uh, about equal AV, because we have a uh, genetic superiority, we have clearly won. And we have destroyed like half their force. We did not destroy actually any aircraft. Which is interesting. And here's our attack at Johor Baru. We of course are gonna crush these guys. We capture it. They retreat. They retreat. Very good. And in pursuit. And take a look at this. Yes, who's, who has just crossed into Singapore? That's very nice. And we destroyed 2000 units. Which is again like half their force. Well. You see this? This is pretty according to schedule. This is about what I expected. And thankfully it did play out just this way. We are a little late in other regards, but uh, on the main uh, fighting force, fighting uh, operation, operational level, we are doing quite well. And we just captured Miri. And if we take a look, supposedly no damage. We'll see. We will see. A shock attack at Rabaul. Yeah, and this one I think is gonna fail. Oof. Yeah, this was not nice. Yeah, these guys will certainly need the reinforcement, even though they had uh, bad morale. Interesting. Unfortunate. We capture this base. This base at Kendari. Fi finally, yes, finally. I have no idea how they failed to capture it before, but we finally got it at Sarong. We captured it again. Finally, oh, and we kill two Dutch airplanes. At Manadu, please destroy these guys. We did not. <laughs> Somehow these guys still are kicking, even with bad morale. And these guys, don't forget, this is a full. Actually, this is. Never mind. This is an infantry regiment, and they are fighting a paratrooper squad. And. Although they are so weakened now, you see that uh, not much left to them anymore. And that uh, Samus, this is the what is left over from all of these bases. We did not destroy them. Interesting. And at Guam, we are shock attacking. Jesus Christ finally do it we did not do it jesus okay i guess i'm gonna have to reinforce there too not nice but hey what can you do we finally get into this hex we just have to clean those guys up it takes a little bit. We expanded 
bubble up to size 4, no need to expand it further because we will be using Kandari. So there you go, second turn now. I saw something converting. I don't I didn't catch what that was. Presumably some airplane. No, oh, some elf. Elf replacements. You see we still get a little bit of uh, garrison damage at Su Chao. Interesting. And here is some airplanes on rails. Mm-hmm. <sighs> but we have captured Clark Field. And now they are going to get a day of rest. Hopefully the supply also flows in there. So we don't have any, uh, any more supply problems. We are sweeping the mines at Hong Kong. And I'm going to rebase our ships with great damage there. No, don't you dare. Ah, this guy. <sighs> I do have escorts, I'll have you know. Let it not be said that I do not have escorts. Unfortunate. This is a pretty good cargo ship too. Tanker. Hello? Ah, this must be what the Ryujo and the Zuiho failed to catch. Well, we shall see how this goes. In either case, I think we will be a taking revenge on them next turn. I think they are carrying one third of a Marine Garrison, whatever they're called, Naval Guards Division. Unfortunate. I would like to keep using them, but there you go. And there you go, apparently two Bri these are all, all all of them are British. And yeah, you can see. Not nice, not nice, but we will be taking revenge. So four British ships there, interesting. They must have literally gone through like Miri and stuff. Yeah. Oh, oh. Of course, of course we couldn't, uh, you know, engage them with this first, but yeah. Now that cruiser division that I have are gonna make short work of these guys. We are at night time, so we do have the advantage. I'm not gonna watch this for a, a million years. Not much damage on either side. Two ships crippled. Uh, interesting. They must not have a very good commander. Oh, uh, hello, we cut. We got you alone, didn't we? Yeah, torpedo, and she is gone. Nice. And here's... Ah. Apparently I miscalculated. I wanted these guys to come in at, during the day. But apparently no can do. We did damage some aircraft. This is very good. Uh, not quite enough damage and no coastal guns destroyed. You would see them under artillery. Unfortunate. We're coming at Porto Pr Princesa. Very good.
Hmm. Where are these guys? This must be Dutch, right? This, these are surely Dutch. I think this is near Kendari. Yeah, I think so. I think we stood around too long trying to... Oh no, this is the marble head. Hmm. Ah, this must be the Americans. Yeah. I was wondering why I didn't recognize the ships. These are Clemson's and one Omaha. We do have one destroyer. It's not doing a good job. And one sort of a workable cruiser. Unfortunate. Unfortunate. But we did simply sit too long near Kandari. Yeah. You know, I intended to capture it in one turn and then reload those troops and move them somewhere else, but... Uh, yeah, this uh, isn't exactly nice. Thankfully, they are completely empty. Oof. <sighs> Not nice. Hopefully some of them survive. But nothing you, you can do much at this point. And here's finally my carriers. Took you long enough. They didn't, they didn't even sink everything. Interesting. <sighs> this is why training is so important. Hopefully there are a lot of ops losses for them. Ah, that, that tanker sank. Not very nice. And over here, Jesus Christ, they really are going in there, huh? A bit too much sinking for my liking, but there you go. I did do a recon, recon mission over uh, Patan, so I'm curious to see what is in there now. Ah, apparently we did still have strength at our ball. Hello, my oh. misguided friends. <laughs> this is your number one enemy, Orphan Anne, from Radio Tokyo, with another blow to your morale and some music to console you. Today, the Imperial government announced that the ever-victorious forces of the Japanese Empire have captured Rabaul. Interesting, uh... I really did not expect them to uh, surrender on the second day. We apparently didn't have fatigue, somehow. Or a disruption, somehow. Okay, I'll take it. Good result. And we did make one of them surrender, I don't remember which one. But this is very nice, of course. We did also, by the way, lay some mines in the ball, just in case they came with a, you know, a bit of a brave plan. But once again, do not capture Menadu. Interesting. That's Sambas. We also do not capture it. Hmm. And apparently over here, there's a full... Philippine Infantry Division. You see, this is by the way why I came in at Lingayan. Because I essentially cut an entire division off. I didn't know there was quite that much. I thought it was a regiment, but... Okay. And you can see what they have in Singapore. And it is not much. Not much at all.
Yeah, they only have 343 AV. That is not enough that I say to stop us. Very good. Well, this is the turn. Uh, let's take a look at the losses. And then I'll end it. I'll end it after. Uh -huh. Not no new forces. Apparently, a bit of damage at the base. I don't remember which one, but we can take a look. This is Clark. Not even any damage. And of course, all of our supply got transferred here. Very good. And our forces are in fighting condition, mostly. This guy seriously needs some rest. But they have good morale. The fatigue isn't so bad. Maybe one day, yeah. Maybe one day to burn off a bunch of the stuff. We certainly did lose a bunch of engineers and our armor, yeah. But this is the price of war. We also captured a ball somehow. Not even any damage, interestingly. Mm -hmm. Very well. And we did cross into Singapore. Very good. And these guys are, of course, in perfect fighting order. Let's just take a quick look. Yeah, a good number of them didn't actually get reported. Very good. Of course, our ship losses aren't nice either. We sank some uh, American ships. But of course, we lost quite a bit of our own. This one, very unfortunate. But this is just how it goes. We really need to give this guy a medal. And we can see he's almost out of torpedoes, but we can see that they are really reinforcing Numea. I re I seriously have to get here as quickly as possible. These guys didn't even make contact. Well, anyway, that's it. Thanks for watching and uh, see you next time.